Hi folks, you reach Charles from Charles Craft and Corner and I want to show you these what these cards that I'm calling pearls and lace and I did them two different ways so let me step you through the process. I used Whisper White Stampin' Up! cardstock and first thing I did was score the card at a quarter of an inch all the way around to give it the um, embossed frame. Let's see if I can get it on the camera. There you go. And then I stamped the sentiment, thinking of you, with the teeny tiny wishes and the blushing bride ink, and added two pearls next to the sentiment. Now to make these little squares, and you can see the two different ways, I couldn't decide which way I liked it. So this I used the foam squares to raise the frame as well as the image. And this one here is I glued the frame directly to the cardstock and then I just raised the image off of that. So you got two different types of effects. I kind of like them both. So how I made these little posted stamps type things is I used this one and a half inch border, um, scallop border square punch from Stampin' Up! and I used my paper trimmer to cut one and an eighth squares. I didn't have the exact inner square so I just used my trimmer and made it easy anyways. But before I trimmed out all the cardstock is I stamped on a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock this lacy doily uh, stamp from Stampin' Up! So I stamped it on a piece of cardstock and then I cut out the various images with my paper trimmer at one and an eighth inch. And I inked the edges doing the direct to paper method because I just took the square and went straight to the ink pad just to give it a little bit more deeper color because it's bashful. Blushing Bride is a very light pink color, but it came out really well. To finish off the inside, I stamped the doily just part way on the inside. So that allows me a matching, um, matching inside to um, outside and also gives me a place to to write my note. So one I'm sending to my daughter at college and the other one I'm sending to my friend in Florida. So if you want to see more crafty ideas, please stop by Charles Craft and Corner or more ideas on my, web to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a great day.